Hello, welcome to Tech Gemini. In this session, we will discuss about few more jobs related command. So let's see one by one. So the first command that we will discuss is work active job. So for that, you have to write W R K A C T job, and after that, you have to hit enter. So what it do? It provide us a screen where we can work with the active jobs. what means uh, uh, what is the meaning of active job active jobs are the jobs which is currently active on the system okay so whatever the system you are using it will show you the jobs all the jobs that is currently active on that system okay so here you can see that active jobs 399 we are using the pub 400 so currently there are 399 jobs that is currently active this is the elapsed time time, uh, time for the jobs this is the cpu percentage okay and if you want to see the, uh, all job related information like here you can take option these uh, mentioned option like change hold for ending the job and to work with the job to release the job and display the messages so you can take all these options but please make sure that you are taking the correct option or only you are taking on uh, the jobs that is submitted by your user or your profile otherwise it may affect the other work also because let's say if we close or we end any particular job for some another user then it will be a big uh, mistake from our side okay so just make sure that you are uh, working with your own job in, instead of uh, instead of that uh, Uh, taking these option on some uh, on the jobs that is submitted by some other user so just make sure that you are using your own job so this is how we can make use of this work active job command now next uh, command is work user jobs so once you write work user job and hit enter it will show all the commands that is submitted by the user user means Uh, let's say i'm using it from my system and my uh, username is sharmit so it will show all the jobs that is submitted by the user sharmit okay and if i take a uh, if i write it again and if you take f4 on this command work user job so it will ask you for the username so here you can also specify the user for which you want to see the all user jobs so but by default it is star it means it will show the current user so this is my profile so these it it is right now showing all the command that is submitted by the user sharmit and the type of the jobs like in in a job bad job status so this is the job i have submitted and it is on hold status so it shows it is a hold job uh, status is a hold for this job okay fine now the next command is work sbm job so just write wrk sbm and then job and take f4 so here you can also specify the particular user from or there are multiple other option also like if i take f1 here so here you can put star user star job or star work station if you want to search it for any particular work station then you can use this option but by default uh, we will go with the star user it means it will show all the submitted job with that particular user so it, right now i have these two jobs that is submitted by me on q batch so it is showing me it is uh, we we are able to see only these two job in this and here i can take all these option like 2 3 and all the given options uh, for my particular task so that's how we can use the work sbm jobs work spm job so mainly we have discussed three command first one is work active job which is used to see all the uh, all the active job of the system second we see work submit job spm job so it will uh, it will provide the list of all job that is submitted by a particular user and if you want to take specify any particular user then just take f4 on the command and specify the username next is uh, the work user job so it is related to a particular user okay so and once you hit enter it will show you the all the jobs related to any particular user so right now it is showing all the jobs related with sharmit user profile 
okay so these are the three jobs command that we usually use uh, for for performing or for uh, monitoring the jobs related stuff so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture method